Hold on to your butts. These are the Squashbuckler Diaries. Welcome back. My name is Guy Hassan and you are listening to the Squash Buckler Diaries podcast. The podcast about the girl who lives in dreams. And just to give you a quick recap, we're talking about Joy Shelley, who is uh, season one between ages two to six. Future heroine. She lives in her father's dreams. Uh, why and so on. We'll find out through time. Some clues have been laid out. Some haven't. Uh, we won't get into that right now. So they live a life of adventure because that's the stuff he dreams about. He dreams about swashbuckling adventure. So every time they go and defeat villains and that's her life, which actually by coincidence prepares her for her future life as a heroine when really bad things happen and she won't be protected by her father's um, subconscious. So nothing, almost nothing in her life is ordinary. She lives on a flying pirate ship uh, that sails through the ocean, flies through the air, sails through the space to other planets. Uh, it has cannons at the side and they have an infinite prison where they put all the villains from their adventures uh, in the belly of the ship called Bunny's Revenge. And they usually don't get to do ordinary stuff. Last episode, we actually talked about something ordinary that almost every kid gets, and she got it first for, you know, at age four. And she probably doesn't get it a lot uh, afterwards either. So uh, we're talking about something that's perfectly normal for us, completely abnormal for her, and uh, let's see how different a childhood in Justin's dream is from any other kid's childhood. This is what this episode is about. I hope you enjoy it. So let's begin. Episode 86, The Double Decker Bus. Joy's age five, told by the Red Dragon. Double Kedder Bus? Close. Double Decker Bus. Dragon Father and Dragon Lil were climbing aboard a Double Decker Bus on the planet of New London. Double Kedder Bus? Let's go up the stairs. Listen, say it slowly. Double, double, decker, keder, no, deck, deck, er, er, now together. Decker, keder. Dragon Father made a face. Let's sit here. You sit near the window. It was a red bus, and the top part was without a roof and without any windows. They sat as the bus began to move on the road. Dragonlil stood up and looked up. Why aren't we flying? It's a bus. It doesn't fly. It's not a spaceship. It's a bus. It goes on wheels. Dragonlil peered even further down, now half her body hanging out. Dragonfather did not motion to stop her or hold her. He trusted her. Wheels? Why does it have wheels? How can it sail on wheels? It doesn't sail. It's a bus. It goes on roads. But... Spaceships just fly. They get there faster. Our ship flies and sails. Why does anyone need a bus? It's well, you. It's well. Yeah. You know what? I just wanted to have. I just wanted you to have an experience. A double decker bus is an experience. Dragon Lil returned to the seat, crossed her arms, and sighed loudly. Yay! Great. When are we getting there? Told by the Red Dragon. Hashtags Joy, Justin, New London. So this episode is a slice of life, like all the other episodes. It's a slice of life. Every time it's a different slice of life that teaches us about who Joy is, where she goes up, how her childhood influences her adulthood, because she's going to be a heroine, and she's going to be super influential uh, in something. Uh, maybe she'll save the world or something. Or something similar, for sure. But um, we are learning about her. And every slice of life teaches us something. And I hope you enjoy this one. 
next time we're going to have a completely different slice of life called Cleaning the Mess, where again we find out how exactly different Joy's life is from ours and how different and unique Joy is, period, regardless of being born in a dream. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoy the next one. I will see you tomorrow. And now, the credits. The Squash Buckler Diaries are written and read by me, Guy Hassan. All the tags mentioned in this story are searchable at the website. You can find all the stories there in written form and in fact 150 Squash Buckler Diaries more. The Squash Buckler Diaries is the diary of Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams. She'll be called the Forgotten Girl by her father. She'll be a true heroine. She'll change the world. This project shows her entire life from birth to death. Check out the website at guyhasson.com. That's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N.com. I've been an author and playwright for more than 30 years, and this is the first time I've used the guyhasson.com website because the girl in the dream is my life project. If you have questions, if you want to comment, please do. You can comment at the website or email me at guyhasson at gmail.com. That's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N, G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N, at gmail.com. The theme music is called Brass Gentleman and is created by Thomas Harudek. My name is Guy Hasson, and this is my life project. Come back tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow for more. Thank <laughs> you.